Alright guys, I had to make a part two. Um, I ran out of storage on my phone. So, <laughs> Longin. Um, again, not much to report. Still the same. Still got that little bit of new growth there. Although it does look like it's... This camera. It does look like it is... Has become a bit bigger. Although it could just be seeing things um, since it's come in the greenhouse you know last night I checked at about 8 o'clock and it was the temperature dropped outside to 26 inside the greenhouse was still 32 so there you go yeah so Longin's doing well moving aside to what I showed you guys yesterday bacon avocado sorry guys I'm doing a whole um, a whole video on the full update so it's going to be a long one, but yeah, bacon avocado is doing great. Move that into the shade too, obviously because the um, trunk is still a bit green, so I don't want to burn that. Um, doing well with heaps of growth. It still hasn't stopped. Look at that. Can sort of focus a bit blurry, guys. There. And we got a bit of growth there, there, and there. So really happy with this one even though it's made the less progress out of all of them the fact that it's it's come back for me is um is awesome so yeah all right um i think that's it that's inside the greenhouse um uh, beside the seedlings which haven't shown much progress yet we'll keep an eye on them yeah so that's it that's in here when I made the greenhouse, there were some potatoes growing, so they're just sitting there. I'll wait till they're ready to harvest, and then I'll pull them out. i figure out, I'll have more room, so I'll figure out what I want to plant in the greenhouse. Maybe some pineapples or something. I've got a few pineapples outside, which I'll show you. Um, I might chuck, plant them inside here too, so that's another idea. But anyways, stepping outside now. Alright, passion fruit. So... Heaps of new growth there. But it's doing pretty well since I bought it. Um, the older leaves have sort of yellowed up a bit, which I guess is expected. They're older, so they've been sitting there for a while. But it looks like it's spreading, so good news. Like I said, quite a bit of new growth all around. A little bit of sun damage, but nothing too bad to report on. All right, moving on. Sugarcane, doing fine. Nothing to report there. I'm thinking of getting more sugarcane, to be honest with you. You know, watching some of your videos, you guys out there, and your sugarcanes are growing huge. So I love sugarcane. So, um, bit impatient. So I might grab maybe one or two more. Never know. And plant them. So just behind there. I know this is all my tropics, but just behind these, you can see there's a zucchini growing there. Um, but anyway, back to the sugar cane. <sighs> Doing beautifully, so yeah, sugar cane. Um, Doing very well. More growth just on the back there, too, so. Okay. Uh, just a quick stopover on the pineapples. That's the one that, one of them that I'm talking about. So. They're just from your local grocer. Store bought pineapples, pulled off the top, chucked them in the ground. They're doing pretty well. Um, I will, these are the ones that I'm talking about that I might pop in the greenhouse. They'll have a bit of room there on the ground. I reckon they'll do way better in the greenhouse than they are out here, especially during winter because they pretty much die off in winter. So, yeah. Bananas, bananas, more bananas. Don't know why this one is always giving me a bit of a headache. I think it's a location in the ground, but I might give it some more sea salt. It is sending out a, a little um, sucker, but yeah, bananas. That's another pineapple there, which I might chuck in the greenhouse as well. And these are watermelon, which I grew from seed, so again, bought them from the grocer. Um, popped them in the ground. Look at that. 
might actually pop these in a pot and chuck them in the greenhouse too over winter over autumn winter only because the summer has been terrible um, yeah it's just might have to um, prepare now for autumn so uh, just next to it the corn and the blue java sorry the blue java which is doing really well since I've chucked in the ground thanks George that's a new leaf here and if you look carefully in there you can already see another new leaf developing but you can't because this camera won't focus today there you go inside there so pretty happy with that can't wait till this one comes at least like the height of that one there it's gonna be beautiful so yeah that's one of the bananas that I enjoy reporting on okay we'll move on all right uh, Arabica coffee which I haven't shown you guys for a long time look at that that's just shot up so big I, it actually stunned me so because the rest of the tropicals froze <laughs> they didn't do much obviously because the summer hasn't been that hot but this guy here he has just had so much growth in the last what month or so look at that that it's amazing and he's in he's not in full sun he's not in sun at all actually he's completely covered by all of this overgrowth so don't know what's how it's doing it but that's just amazing for me we'll see how that does over winter it is protected obviously by all the those those trees up above but yeah and that's the current temperature outside so as you can see 15 degrees compared to the greenhouse um, a bit of monstera delicioso there so yeah nothing much to report on this end here um, except for that coffee so my coffee is doing beautiful the foliage on it's just so shiny and it's just continuing to set out new shoots especially I reckon because of this heat that just come in this last week um, even though it's not getting direct heat it's getting the, um, the effects of it so there you go guys coffee okay avocado 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 um, the fuerte beautiful growth again nothing too severe to report on there um, but look at that it's loving where it is I reckon the morning sun it's still protected from the morning sun up there but it is absolutely loving it here the leaves on it are just huge had a bit of an incident with some certain two over there come and dig the mound up but covered it up pretty quickly put some mesh on it so they wouldn't dig anymore and ever since then it's been fine so plenty of new growth everywhere everywhere you look on this thing As you can see give me a second sorry guys I'm gonna be trying to focus this thing if it will focus I don't think it will there you go look at that that whole branch alone just heaps of new growth so happy to report this avocado is doing really well so yeah no complaints there at all ever since I put it on that mound and I keep adding mulch to it so grass clippings keep watering it you know put in that one there look at that branch is just covered in new growth so we'll keep an eye on that one moving on um, the Custard apple, packs and prolific. I don't know if you guys remember, probably 
three or four videos back I did a um, an update on this guy being really uh, sort of droopy and the growth being all soft and I actually thought it was gonna die so I think it was one of you guys I think maybe jeez oh, I'm not too sure actually I don't want to don't want to call anyone out I can't remember who who gave me the advice to buy one of those um, moisture readers I didn't buy one but what I did do is I stopped I cut back on the watering so cut back heaps on the watering and pretty much instantly it became all firm again so there you go guys um, over watered it got to remember that probably oh, over watered it but probably the drainage as well probably not the best so it might be something that I'll look into to fixing up maybe putting that up on a mound as well maybe sometime during winter not too sure see what happens I guess but besides that since I've stopped watering new growth beautiful new growth just shooting out air everywhere god I love this camera new growth new growth everywhere everywhere new growth so pretty happy with that one there something decided to come out of a munch on this leaf don't know what it was had a bit of a sus couldn't find it but yeah and that one too apparently gosh sorry guys you get pretty emotional when, when um, little critters come and nibble on your um, on your trees but anyways moving on all right, I'm not sure if you guys remember the orange tree. I ended up moving that. I wasn't happy where it was, and it was going all pale and yellow and all sorts of weird and wonderful colours. But ever since I've moved it, it's actually healing. So I gave it some sea salt, um, some seaweed solution, um, and look at that. Look at the difference. It's been three days, four days over here, and it's just way healthier than what I looked before so sorry there's a bit of a spider web there okay, way healthier oh there's there's a little guy I reckon that built the spider web <laughs> but and just next to him see fruit orange all right so wasn't happy where it was moved it and surprise surprise doing way better than what it was okay Moving on to the front yard now. Alright. So, the little banana that I shot out of nowhere. Still there. Haven't made much of a move. Um, so, can't complain much about that. Um, you got across here the frangipani plumeria, which is doing exceptionally well, obviously, because it's summer. Not too sure how that's going to go in winter. I might go into a pot and into the greenhouse too. But that's doing really well. New flowers growing there. And all there too. So looking forward to that. I said I might move that into a pot. I've also got a papaya, which is back there. Hasn't done much. I'll go around and have a better look at that. And even got, bear with me. The frangipani here too so that's just shot out in the last couple of days with the increase in heat just in time for the end of uh, summer so useless but anyways we'll just keep monitoring him okay we'll move across to see get a closer look at that papaya on the other side okay so new leaf growing there doing pretty well here too new leaf there just no height on the guy again, which kind of annoys me because this makes him more susceptible to death via frost. So that one there was the Richter Gold. There you go. Um, it's getting a bit of protection now, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. But still about the same height, which does my head in. 
because they don't change, they don't grow, they just freeze. Um, I don't know. We'll just have to keep monitoring him. See how he goes, I guess. And we'll keep you updated over, over autumn, early winter. How are you guys? Compared to the ones in the greenhouse. So That's all for the front at the moment. Um, yeah, I'll, I think I've got to show you a couple more bananas at the back. So pretty much all that's left is this guy here, which is grown huge. Like I said, no problems with bananas here in Melbourne. He just keeps growing. He's massive at the moment. I'm so happy with that growth. And the red daca, dwarf red daca, which is also grown massive. So nothing to complain there. Yeah. Oh, can't forget about the pomegranate. I'll show you those that quickly too. Pomegranate. Since I moved it here into the morning sun, as you guys can see, it's just coming over now. Beautiful. This pomegranate's loving it. The growth on it's just phenomenal. Flowering again, which is good news. So yeah, that's that's been doing really well since I moved it out of the shade. So it's about location, guys. Finding the best location for these plants and for these trees. Okay, and we're back where we started. So back in the greenhouse again. Um, so that's the end of the tour. That's everything. That's how it's all sort of growing at the moment. Um, as I mentioned, about 15 degrees still outside. Still a bit cold. Um, inside now it's what? What are we looking at? Six, about, about 18, 19 in here now. The humidity's risen heaps, so getting harder for me to <laughs> to breathe in here. But just want to show you the flooring at the moment. I'm just popping any grass clippings to keep it warm, to keep it moist, any sort of branches that I've cut down, and I'm going to keep packing this up, packing it all the way up um, until I um, until I cover it all up with grass clippings. So yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that tour. Um, I'll give you a, 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 my next full tour. Will probably. Be Mid autumn now, so depending on how the weather sort of comes along. Uh, but anyways, don't forget to like, subscribe, and um, especially comment because I love to get your you guys' opinions and your tips and and all of that. So yeah, um, let me know what you think, and I will catch you from the next video. Have a great day, guys. Um, don't forget to water your plants, keep them cool over the next few days if you're in Melbourne, and I uh, will see you later. Have a great day. Bye.